Hi and welcome in this uh, video tutorial about Roomba timeline. In this video we will learn how to use the timeline to craft our own animation. First of all let's talk about the interface. So if you use the default layout the timeline sits down there right under the main viewport and is composed of two sections. On the left side you'll find the uh, layer list and on the right side you'll find the um, timeline view. The timeline view shows you the time range of Roomba and so for example here we go from frame 1 to frame 50. If you want to change this range just use the range widget right here um, to zoom in or scroll within the, the timeline. Um, there is a few shortcuts to do this also use the Alt key and the right mouse button to zoom in the timeline or uh, the same hold key and the middle mouse button to pan and uh, scroll in this timeline. Those shortcuts are the same one as the one in the in the viewport. To go back to the full range, uh, just double click here on this range widget. Okay, so remember the timeline view is not composed of only one timeline. In fact, as soon as you create a new layer, this will also create a new timeline attached to this layer and this timeline will be able to show you all the keys related to, uh, to the current layer. Okay, let's add our first key in the timeline. First, be sure to be on an active layer. Here I want to add a key in this uh, default layer, so I just switch the active layer to the default one, and uh, I'm ready to add my first key. There is several ways to do it. For instance, select the controller you want to key, in the viewport and press the S key or just um, hit this uh, add keys button. Uh, this will add a, a new keyframe on the active layer at the current frame. So if you change the current frame and press S again, this will add the key at the current frame. You can also use the, the auto key feature with Roomba. So if you put yourself on the different frame and just move the already keyed uh, controller this will add a new key at uh, the current frame uh, so creating a, an animation to remove those keys in the timeline view just select them with a trap or one by one and hit this remove key button or just press the delete key on the keyboard okay for this next step let me open a, a new scene Ah, uh, okay, uh, this one, the seed one, perfect. So here is my scene, um, as you can see, this is a pretty light animation on my left arm. First let me zoom in a little in this timeline, like this, here we go. So here I'm going to show you some cool features that offers you the, the timeline in Roomba. Um, those features are going to help you to animate and in an easy and really intuitive way uh, by using only the timeline, manipulating those keys. So you may have noticed, but uh, in Roomba there is no need of an active selections to, to see the keyframes in the timeline. It means that all the keyframes are always visible in every layer, on every controller in the timeline, and no matter the selection context. This will help you a lot in your animation process. Uh, you'll be way much more efficient uh, with this feature because uh, you will always be able to see everything uh, within a glance. To figure out the keyframe of a, of a manipulator, of a controller, you just need to Go over the, the character and uh, by hovering the part of this body, you can see that my keyframes are highlighting. If the keyframe is faded, it means that there is no keyframe here for this one. But uh, if I look at this uh, upper arm here, you can see that I do have a, a keyframe on frame 1 and a keyframe on frame 16. Uh, I can do the same for the, the left hand. And I do have three keyframes here. Uh, frame 3, frame 10, and frame 18. So that's super convenient. Let me just uh, extend this animation a little. Uh, so obviously if I just want to add more uh, animation at the end of this one, what I can do is just cycle the curves in the curve editor, but here I just want to use uh, the timeline. So 
I'm gonna select those keys here and if I use the control modifier and drag and drop the keys uh, this will duplicate the keys within the timeline so that's pretty easy as you can see you can repeat this a few times and here we go uh, I do have a, a quick cycle animation uh, you can obviously move those keys also from one layer to another uh, you just need to turn off this snap to layer option here this will let you move those keys not only within the layer but also from layer to another one here we go and here is my so if I turn off this layer I have nothing great um, maybe you just want to also copy this animation from your left arm to the right arm so what you can do is just select those keys and copy them with Control and C then if you go there in the viewport and select this right arm like this you will be able to copy those keys on the right arm just like here for example and here we go I have this exact same animation on my left arm and right arm maybe you also want to just uh, retime this a little like for example make this uh, right arm animation a little bit faster so what you can do is just select those keys and there is a little handler right here uh, next to the selection if you move this uh, this will uh, retime the, uh, the animation and you can also just move this a little bit to duplicate and here we go uh, you can also copy those animation from one character to another for example here I just wanna copy uh, my right arm animation here uh, onto my left arm in this new character here so here we go just create a new layer to divide this and copy this so pretty fancy really easy to use as you can see in a minute I'm able to create a, a couple of animations so that's all for today thanks for watching and see you in the next video thank you